Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode 2 of Below the Border. This is a save with Rangers, and also Celtic are in English League 2. So, when you last joined me, it was the beginning of the season, and since then a lot of stuff has gone down. Um, it's now the 4th of January, so uh, for the first probably two seasons, depending on whether we get promoted both times, I probably will be uh, only doing them like every half a season or maybe a third of a season. Um, but um, yeah, it's been there's been a lot of ups and downs. It's been it's been harder than I thought. Um, but yeah, we we sit currently. Uh, I'll show you the where we are on the table later. I'm just gonna go through a couple of transfers. So when you last joined us, I think I think Lloyd Esgrove had happened, but these two happened uh, in the summer as well. So, Bagani Kumali, he was a free transfer from Tottenham. Um, he's worth about 1.3 million, million pounds. So, yeah, he's worth a lot of money and he's done alright for us. He's good for a League 2 club. I've got him on a permanent, which is good. Um, Giles Coke, uh, sorry, just my friend coming up there. Giles Coke signed from Sheffield Wednesday, the only money signing of the summer transfer window. And he comes came to us for 135,000. And uh, we had a little bit of a shortage at centre midfield. We don't anymore. Um, but yeah, he's done. He's done actually really good. And he got a winner for me the other day in a crazy game, which I'll go through uh, in a second. It'll be a longer episode because we've got to go through quite a lot of games. But there you go. So these three transfers are just ones that I've done in the last couple of days actually, because they've all been January transfer window. And basically they're they're with the idea of self sustainability without loan players now i've also made a bid for will keen and because he's been my top scorer uh he's scored how many has he scored reports not currently the form uh where is he so he scored 22 goals this season sorry about that there must have been a big noise there i just smacked the table <laughs> with my knee um but anyway yeah he scored 22 goals and 21 in the league in 22 appearances which is amazing and he scored five in a match once not that long ago, it was this match here. Yeah, five goals, there you go. He also scored four. I didn't, didn't realise that. But yeah, he's done alright. Um, so yeah, I'm looking to get him in permanently as well. So yeah, just go through them. Chris Hurd, centre-back and centre-mid. You might have heard of him. He's on the fringe at Villa. And I thought it would be a great signing for League 2 club. Uh, Andy Barsham's just been a... Yeah, I think he's been around quite a long time. He's 28 now, and he's played for Tottenham. That was what I remember him as. Obviously, because uh, I am a Tottenham supporter, I remember him coming through the youth academy, and he's a good little winger. Signed for 120k, which is not bad. Uh, reports. It's actually not great, actually. But when I, when I got a first report on him on scouting, that was like three and a half star, or um, the current ability was. But yeah, maybe he's gone down a bit. But he'll still do all right, I guess. He'll do his part. And Bobby Lesnik is a goalkeeper. Um, Cami Bal, who is my normal keeper. It's pretty good, but I signed this guy. I put uh, he's from P Peterborough. That's how I knew of him. That's why I sort of support Peter as well. Um, and yeah, he's just a solid keeper. I put him on rotation, change squad uh, like the squad status. Um, but yeah, he'll he'll probably play. I don't know. He could play like half and half with Cami Bell because Cami Bell he has done pretty well to be fair. But he's not the best. Okay, so on the outs, uh, just yeah, Richie Foster and Nicky Clark that you knew about. Uh, John Daly, I don't know whether that was during the episode. It might be during the episode. I don't know, but yeah, I released John Daly. Uh, it wasn't good enough. I had tons of strikers, and he was the worst one, so he left the club. Uh, Dylan Dykes, just this young guy that went to Hamilton, wasn't good enough. Uh, Darren McGregor and well, Lee McCulloch in the end went, wanted to go. I didn't want to. I didn't want him to go, but he, uh, with age, he's got the worst. He's 36 now. Uh, hasn't found a club since he left us. Just had a history of Wigan. Um, but yeah, no, not good enough for us, and therefore uh, mutually terminated his contract. And Darren McGregor was the same, just uh, centre back, 29 years old, not going to get any better, and wasn't wasn't very good. Look at his attributes, though, he doesn't look that bad. But yeah, not good enough for us, and therefore we had to release him. And Kyle Hutton's uh, centre mid, uh, 23 years old, but his report wasn't great. Yeah, uh, as, and as we go through the league, that's going to get worse and worse. And yeah, I just picked up a nice little 20k for him. And another out, uh, if I just go to transfer centre, Robbie McCrory, this young goalkeeper who I've only played like twice, I think. But he did look pretty good. And I'm selling him for £2.5 million, pounds, which uh, I think is pretty good. 2.3 of that is over 24 months, so. But 
I think that's fantastic for Robin Corey's. His potential ability is pretty good, but I mean, right now I need the money and I want to sign players for the future, like Will Keane or whatever. Oh yeah, Samuel Fowl, Fowl Fair has. Uh, oh, he's rejected a contract from Angers. He said uh, he wanted me to uh, accept any bid for them, and they just went ahead and offered him a contract. Um, but anyway, uh, that is the end of the transfers. You can already see um, that match there. I'll go into that in a second. Let's go back to the schedule. So, uh, we're out of every cup apart from the FA Cup, which we've got the third round today against West Brom. So, after that League 2 defeat to Berry on the opening day, we lost 6-1 to Derby. This was awful. After this game, to be honest, I had a break from this for quite a long time. <laughs> for a, possibly a week from this save. Um, I thought it might not work out, but in the end, yeah, it's done. It's better. It's not good, but it's better. There's been a lot of heavy defeats and a lot of high-scoring matches, but there's also been, yeah, a lot of good periods like this six uh, six matches without a loss, which has been decent. But yeah, this was not a great start. Johnny Russell scored two in three minutes and ended up scoring a hat trick. I'd get into a mascarale, get in the sixth, or oh, wasn't the sixth, but get one. Will Keane in reply for us. We then beat Stevenish 3 0. We Will Keane, Darren McGregor, who's now actually, yeah, I released him, but yeah, he scored. Uh, where was I? Um, and Harris Vukic with the goals. Uh, we then lost to Oxford. Will Keane giving us a lead. Carlton Morris on loan from Norwich and Joe Riley on loan from Bolton getting the two goals to Oxford. Uh, beat Northampton 4 1. Keane getting one. Vukic getting two and Heskey getting one. Mark Richards gave them the lead early on. Uh, AFC Wimbledon. One all. Harris Vukic gave us the lead inside about 40 seconds, I think it was. Sean Rigg getting the uh, equaliser midway through the second half. We then beat Notts County 2 1. Own goal from uh, Kribari gave us the lead. Chris Boyd then cracked an amazing free kick that was um, before Zabrowski got on back, but it was too little, too late. And our first kind of big win of the season uh, against Dagnar and Redbridge 4 0 away from home, this is. Will Keane scoring and then uh, getting his second from a penalty. And Hem Heskey giving us a 3-0 lead, and Giles Coke completing it off, uh, completing the scoring late on uh, with his first goal of the, for the club. We then went out of the Johnson's paint trophy. Uh, Patrick Bruh, uh, don't know whether that's how you meant to pronounce it, gave Carlisle the lead in the 20th minute. Thought we'd uh, rescued it to penalties when Harris Vukic gave us an equaliser, but Bruh scored six minutes later to uh, give Carlisle the win. We then uh, had a hard fought one nil win against Exeter. Uh, Will Keane getting the only goal of the game in the eleventh in the eleventh minute. Uh, we then lost to Portsmouth. Westcar getting two. He was the yeah, I think he was like player of the month that month. Um, and Dean Shields in reply for us, but too little, too late again. And then the perhaps worst game I've ever played on Football Manager. We losing. We lost seven one. Three own goals in a row, but boy out of Peralta and Ake. Peralta did get one at the right end, but yeah. Although, in fairness to them, they had seven different scorers, even if three of them were us. So <laughs> yeah, uh, they get goals from everywhere. Uh, we then, yeah, another pretty bad defeat. 4 0 away at Tranmere. Devon Green gave him a 2 0 lead at half time. Danassian got a penalty, and Kumas made it 4 late on. We then went back to winning ways with a 3-0 victory over Cheltenham, Wilkie with 2 and Lewis McLeod with 1. Uh, then a couple of draws, first off at Burton, then uh, giving them uh, Matt Palmer giving them the lead 2 minutes in. Runya getting pretty decently instant uh, response, but yeah, no more goals in that match. Made it finish 1-0 at the Ibrox. Uh, we then drew 2-2 two -two with Cambridge. But yeah, they went ahead, all the goal scoring was in the second half and they went 2-0 ahead through Jaden Stockley. But Will Keane and Kenny Miller's last ditch goals gave us the draw. We then thrashed Accrington 5 0 at home. Will Keane scoring four in this match. Uh, and Vukic getting the fifth. Uh, we then beat Inverary Lo Locos in the Scottish Cup third round. Kenny Miller with four in, on this occasion, uh, giving us the 4 0 lead. Well, 5 0 lead along with David Templeton. Uh, sorry if you can hear a phone in the background. Hopefully it'll just go to answer the phone. I forgot to take it out of the. Uh, plug. But there you go, it's gone. So uh, Hamish Cameron getting a uh, consolation goal late on. We then beat Sheffield United. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting a big loss in this match, to be honest, in the first round of the FA Cup. Uh, but yeah, Jamie Murphy put Sheffield United ahead before Harris Spukic gave, uh, got two goals at the end of the first half to give us the win. We then uh, lost 
pretty badly, 6-2 to Wickham. This is a horrible game as well. Uh, Will Keane gave us lead before Ian Black got sent off and after that they just ran away with the game. Will Keane did get a second but yeah you can see their scorers, I'm not going to go through them. But it wasn't the f the best game to watch. Uh, we then beat York, uh, we lost to York, sorry, 2-0. Jake Hyde getting two goals. Um, yeah, we didn't really have many opportunities in this match. This is the match that Robbie McCrory played in. Uh, I think he played, yeah, a couple in a row as Cammy Bell was injured. So them two. Uh, that one, yeah, well, I'll just go to it. Uh, so yeah, she we then beat Shrewsbury 4-0 in the league away. Vukic with two, Lee Wallace with one, and uh, Chris Boyd in the 89th minute with the fourth. Uh, unfortunately, we then crushed out of Scottish Cup 2-0. John Sutton with two goals in the first half to uh, yeah put us to the sword. Uh, but then we did advance in the FA Cup 3-1 away at Crawley. Uh, three, we raced into a 3-0 lead. Kumalu and Vukic uh, with the goals as well as a Dean Leacock own goal uh, from the Crawley player. Atayic did get a uh, consolation. But we sailed through to today's game against West Brom. Uh, we then uh, had a goal destroying against Carlisle away, not much to say, hardly any opportunities. Uh, we then unfortunately lost 2-1 to Bury, Will Keane gave us the lead for Danny Rose and a Lee Wallace own goal later on gave them the win. Um, but then we beat Plymouth, this was like a fan day, uh, it would have been better if it was the next game against Luton. But yeah, Kenny Miller gave us a lead, Ruben Reed equalised instantly, but Lee Wallace got a late equaliser for us, smashing it across the goalkeeper into the bottom right goal uh, corner and finally this amazing match it was 6-3 to Luton at half time we won 7-6 <laughs> so yeah I'm, to be honest, I'm going to show you all the goals from this match because uh, um, otherwise I'm going to get confused <laughs> um, yeah counting all the goals they would be in 2D but still so yeah they went ahead through uh, Wilkinson who ended up scoring 4 goals in, that, uh, in this match uh, so there you go you see that uh, yeah, I think it was on the volley from Petrafius's cross. Uh, we then went, got the equaliser. Keen uh, nicking it off the toes of Kenny Miller to uh, yeah give it, bring us level. We then went two one up through Will Keen. Uh, Wallace's ball in and Keen yeah getting the flick header on. So that was two one at this point. They then went I think equalised again. Uh, I think Cammy Bow yeah Reeves Wilkinson and Wilkinson ended up scoring this one. Believe it or not, yes that amazing wonder goal. I actually forgot about how good that goal was because there were so many in the match. Uh, but yeah, Wilkinson getting that uh, equaliser. Uh, we then went 3-2 up. Then, because of Kenny Miller nicking the ball, uh, whipping in and Will Keane giving us the 3-2 lead. Scoring his hat-trick and giving getting his 20th goal of the season. But he was nowhere near done. <laughs> Let me put it that way. As uh, Wilkinson, I think, then got his hat-trick. Oh no, he's already got it. Well, I'm getting confused even with seeing it. Uh, yeah, then it was Wilkinson, but he got his fourth there. 4-3. Four, this was only, yeah, 26 minutes in. Uh, so many goals in this match. Uh, we then equalised it. No, no, yeah, the, they kept on scoring. Uh, so it was 4-3 at this point. And then another goal scorer scored other than Wilkinson and uh, and uh, Will Keane. Uh, Rees getting the goal. Oh no, I'm so I'm so confused. Uh, no, that was his fourth. So it was three two before that. Then Wilkinson scored two goals in a row. So then at this point it's four three. Then uh, Rees got his goal, I think. Yep, to make it five three. And just before the break, Petravisius, I think it was, scored uh, Luton six. And at this point, to be honest, I walked off. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I just came back. At, actually, I only came back at six four. But yeah, Petra, Petrovicius, um, give me a lead. I d yeah, I did the team talk for half time and <laughs> just left. Uh, be not before this. Uh, yes, before no. Yeah, before this goal, Runya played up to Boyd and Will Keane got his fourth to make it six four. Uh, so yeah, gave us a little bit of hope. I still, especially at this point, because there was only like t fifteen minutes left. Wasn't expecting anything out of the game, especially not a win. But yeah, Will Keane played up to Wallace. Wallace played into Boyd, and Boyd found Keane for his fifth goal. And it made it 6 5. Right back in the game. Prowling through the equaliser. Chris Boyd's free kick. Dinked it into Bill Almoshny, who made it 6 or I went crazy at this point. But uh, yeah, at this point, I thought it was going to be the final highlight. Law whipped it in, and Giles Coke with the winner. 7 6. Brilliant game. 
Uh, but yeah, getting the win. And that brings us to today's game against West Brom. So guys, I've just done the team off camera. Um, so this is going to be it. Uh, Cami Bell's going to start in goal. Mujni, Boyetta and Kumalo across the back. Wallace, Coke, McLeod and Peralta across the midfield. With Vukic, Keane and Chris Boyd being up front. Um, now, uh, uh, I, guess, I know you guys don't know this, but there's a little bit of a changed team. I don't usually play Peralta or uh, Mojni, though I did the other day, uh, or Kumalo. And uh, Vukic has actually been replaced. Kenny Miller plays there now. Uh, well, yeah, I've been playing in there. <laughs> not just, yeah, he can't not. But, um, yeah, Kenny Miller, I've been playing at Poacher in the Poacher position, but Vukic is going to come back into the side today. Uh, the bench is left to the assistant. Unfortunately, the three new signings, well, two of them are cup-tied in Bobby Olesnik and Andy Barsham. He's played for Scunthorpe. He's played for Portsmouth already in the competition. Uh, and Chris Hurd is on international duty with Australia, who I think he's at the Asian Cup. Didn't actually know he was Australian when I signed him, but there you go. Um, so he won't be available for a bit. He is hoping that Australia get knocked out in the group stage. Just going to go on it. it. Is that. I'm just going to check the schedule. So yeah, they got the Asian Cup, Oman, South Korea and Kuwait. Nevertheless, uh, this is a team I'm going to submit and go forward into today's home cup tie against West Brom. Uh, I'm not really that optimistic, uh, but hopefully we can do our best and with a bit of luck we'll get a win. So I picked off where you left off from that 7-6 win. Maybe not quite in the defending side of it, but the attacking definitely. <laughs> if we score 7 goals today, I'll be amazed. Um, so yeah, early on we've got a chance here, Boyd, Giles Cope, looking for Harris Vukic, and Brunt takes it away from Wilkeen, and plays back to his goalkeeper, Ben Foster. Blanco now, Chris Baird, Brunt, Anichibi, great tackle from Dedrick Boyata, and Kumalo looking for Vukic, Blanco, Morrison, Anichibi, Baird, Anichibi, oh, off the post from Morrison. Uh, so yeah, good chance early on there for West Bromwich Albion. Cami Bell now looking for Chris Boyd. His Bongani Kumalu looks at Harris Vukic, Wilkin, Peralta now. Giles Coke can't get there, and it needs to be for West Brom now. It's Blanco, Blanco, looking for Georgia Samaras, former Celtic man, hits the side netting, goes up for a goal kick. So it's fair to say West Brom had the most of the possession early on. As Samaras gets the goal, West Brom lead. Georgia Samaras, the Greek international, gets his fifth goal of the season there. Blanco with the corner in, and each of you hit the bar. Uh, Peralta tried to clear it, and then Wallace cleared it against Samaras. And into the back of the net. Um, so yeah, unfortunate there to concede. Here's Cami Bell, though. We still could get a win here. Is Olsen, Morrison, Baird, Kumalu. Wins that. Here's Peralta gone. McLeod get forward. Chris Boyd to Will Keane who loses it. Can't lose it to a Premier League team. Here's Georgia Samaras and each 2 0. And yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get back from this. I know that's a bit negative thinking uh, uh, so early on in the match. But yeah, Georgia Samaras played it through and an each There's too much power on it. Cami Bow couldn't keep it out, unfortunately. And. Uh, yeah, Boyate receives a yellow card there, but yeah, so it goes to half time here, uh, two 0 down. Not expecting anything at this point. I'll say now we're underdogs. Give the fans a performance to cheer for at home. It's the FA Cup. Quite a lot of them have probably turned up, even though it's the English FA Cup. But Coke Keen, oh Will Keen, we had to score there. To be honest, uh. Chris Boyd's picked up an injury. Uh, I'll make subs after this highlight. Here's uh, Giles Coke McLeod. Gives it away. Comes to Bill Almogeny. Oh, stop giving it away in a need to be. Almost gives West Brom the uh, a 3-0 lead. But Chris Boyd, I'll bring on for Emil Heskey. I'll bring Junior on, who hasn't played much this season for uh, Lewis McLeod. Uh, any other substitutions? I'll bring on... I'll bring on Sally Uskis. Boyata give him a rest and he's on a yellow card anyway so yeah uh, I have faith a lot more to come for me yeah I have faith uh, no pressure 
why did I do that? For some reason I was just like trying, I thought that was like, I forgot it was only like basically for young people. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you won't have that bad a reaction on the pitch. Here's Chris Baird, Morrison, and each of be much and he's done well and Zadius gets, gets it away. It's Pagognoli now. Morrison, Samaras, Morrison, and Nietzsche be shot is well blocked there. Corner kick for West Brom, Blanco. At this point, this is more damage limitation, but we failed there. And Victor Nietzsche be gets his second of the match, and West Brom's third. So Blanco with the corner. Morrison headed it to Nietzsche be, who headed it into an empty net, with Bal already on the floor. Oh, I just noticed Giles Coke's rating is really poor. <laughs> Uh, I'll just go, I'll pause it, say, uh, aggressively, concentrate, don't think that's going to do anything, but hopefully we won't concede any more. Uh, so nobody getting a yellow card there. Uh, Heskey receives a yellow card there. A couple of subs, maybe a chance here, though, yeah, no, this is going to be the final highlight. As, uh, Junior, Heskey, Kumalu. And uh, not long before the referee's whistle will blow, here's Wallace to Heskey to Junior, Heskey, Peralta, Pukic, and yeah, Heskey heads out wide. So it's all over here at Ibrox, 3-0 to West Brom, what I was expecting, but still disappointing. Uh, I'll say, eh, you run dogs and you give it the best, yeah, I, uh, I wasn't sure about that, unfortunately everyone switched off. Uh, so not the best team talk, but there you go. Uh, so, okay, I'm not too happy. Giles was alright. Each we had a good sort of game. Uh, I did make an offer for Dedrick Boyata off camera, uh, who because I was just looking through my squad and who of the lone players that I want to keep next season. Although it looks like his wage is pretty high, he will be a key player, so I'll, I'll definitely go on that. But uh, I will. Can I move that down a bit because I don't need all of that? Uh, how much should I? I'll just put it there. Hopefully that'll allow me to offer him a higher wage. Put that. Mm. 4.1. Yeah, so he does, rejects that. So uh, I'll still look to get him in, but maybe after I uh, sell a few players. So yeah, McCrory here is being sold to uh, Newcastle. 16 year old, going for 2.5 million, which is pretty good. Uh, you're welcome back anytime. I'll say that. Thanks. Who, who knows what the future will hold? So Robbie McCrory. These are 2.5 million. Hopefully that adds a bit to our budget as Wallace wants to discuss club matters. But that you found necessary to sell our love. Ah, he doesn't like the. I wanted regular football and we couldn't guarantee he want that here. It's the right thing to do. I think he might have acted a bit too quickly. He was too good to let go so easily. You're going to have to trust me to make tough calls and do what's right for the long term future club. I'm not very happy with that situation. Well, yeah, he's not very happy, but nothing really I could do. Uh, so, go into the Stevenage game next. Uh, I'm not going to live on this game. Uh, this is where I'm going to end the episode, guys. Actually, I shall wait just to see if we can confirm. Yeah, Will Keane signing. So, there we go. go the transfer offer goes through uh, 500k, but a lot of that is in the future. 21 year old striker has tons and tons of potential. He's pretty good right now, to be honest. Um, and yeah, uh, that, I think that's a great signing for us. Uh, signing Wilkie from Man United. Uh, so that's a good way to round off an otherwise pretty crap episode. Um, unfortunately, going down 3 0 to West Brom, but hopefully we can push on. Oh, yeah, I just forgot. I didn't have much in the table. So yeah, currently we sit 10th in League Two, uh, but we've got a couple games in hand. Celtic, we haven't even played them yet. They have had so many rearranged games due to the fact I forgot that they're in the Champions League or they're now in the Europa League as well as uh, going through in the FA Cup as well. They got a brain tree. Why can we have a brain tree, not West Brom? <laughs> but yeah, they, they are still in the Scottish Cup. They're still in the FA Cup. Got knocked out of Johnson's paint by uh, Port Vale and uh, the League Cup by uh, Coventry. But yeah, so a lot of their games have been postponed. We've only played them, yeah, we haven't played them at all. We've still got our two games against them there and there. Um, so yeah, the next live com might be the last couple of games of the season. Hopefully we'll get into the playoffs. Actually, hopefully we'll get automatically promoted if we do well. But it's looking more like the playoffs at this point, which is a bit disappointing. But um, yeah, I'll probably live com a game 
if I live if I live com I'll do Accrington because we thrashed them five 0 the first time. So I'll live com that game and then after that it'll be the playoffs or the next season. Uh actually I'll pro uh, even if yeah we don't get to playoffs it'll be I'll do an end of season like roundup. But yeah, so I'm going to see you for that Accrington game on the twenty eighth of March. Um so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode despite the loss. And I've been the FM Gaffer and I'll see you guys next time.